Hi, welcome again. Today we are trying to optimize a landscape for a mobile device. And this is an Android device, Nokia 3.4, which is a budget friendly device that you can get around $100 $150. And we are trying to optimize this landscape for this phone. And actually right now it's getting seven frames per second, and um, which is quite <laughs> very hard to usable. I can control the device here, but as you can see, it's really unresponsive. So let's try to fix this. All right, let me cancel this. And I'm gonna show you my level blueprint. And it has uh, some commands. So basically when the app started, I'm running two commands. Uh, one is a stat APS and a stat unit so I can get some information on the screen. Right, this is it. As you can see, we get around seven frames per second. So th that could be a reason of the material itself as well. So I'm gonna remove the landscape material from this landscape. I'm gonna click the landscape, uh, go to the details panel, and there's my uh, default open land material. This is a version which is not optimized for mobile. So I'm gonna remove this one. So I think I can click here. As you can see now we don't have a material. So let, now let's try to run this on the on the device and try to see how how it performs. Right, on, on the, I'm gonna click the launch button. Ready, save that. So this should start my app on the device and it will take some time. So let's wait until that. All right, now it's running on my device. So it's, it's running with a frame rate of 14 to 15 frames a second, but here we get a lower number because of the screen capture software, but actually it's running around like 14 to 15 frames a second, which is a good improvement uh, from the beginning. So I can uh, say so it's, it's still unplayable, but uh, you get the idea. Right, so now we need to identify why this is slow. If you look at the this Prims count basically it's a triangle count so we can see something around like 2000 K or 2500 K which is quite high uh, for a mobile device to render actually something like this device so we are trying to reduce this number maybe down to like 200 K or something like that so then we could uh, get some good results so let's go back and try to fix that to fix that it's quite simple go to your landscape and go to the details panel and there's a section for LOD distribution and here we are looking at here. So right now we're gonna tweak these numbers and try to get a nice result. By default, these settings are not really optimized for a big landscape. But this count here, the closer and the far away is almost identical or, or the distribution is quite less. We can simply uh, increase this first slider to the maximum. We can see the landscape is like quite getting the lower core quality. So that's okay, that's that's happening. That's pretty good. So that's what we want. Uh, but you can always check around and see whether this is what you want. But I think uh, we should not go for 10, maybe something around. Yeah, this looks nice. But you always try to see the close, especially the closer mountains and that's what you want. So now we are going to looking at the other LOD section. From this slider, we can actually reduce the the far away triangle count. Let me show you that it's quite. So let me put this back to zero. So as you can see, as I decrease down, it will reduce the landscape uh, triangle count in a far away. But if you look at the closer, and it's quite the the same thing with. But it it apex here as well. But you get that it, it apex more on the far away. So here we need to do a very subtle change. So I'm gonna do something around like maybe 2.8. I don't know something like this. And for this one, I think uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. So it's it, it's it's quite subjective based on the landscape. And of course, you can uh, even come here and paint it if the the look is not good for you. Right. So now let's try to see the triangle count. So for that one, I can try to play this game locally. And I can see the triangle count right away. Right now we are getting uh, something around 70, but I think it depends on the on the resolution as well. But I think this is something we, we could play with. Right now let's try to run this version on my device and try to see the, the performance improvement we are getting. Now it's running on my device. So now we can see something close to 30 frames a second. But here you can see it's quite low. That's because of the screen capture tool, but actually it's running around something around 30 frames a second. And you can see that the primitive, the triangle count is, is something around like 100, 100 k which is quite usable. All right, let's see what else we can do. 
Another factor in uh, improving the performance is the shadows. Not actually the lights, but the shadows. Shadows are really cost in in any game. So we have a cube here. So now we can see the how the shadows works. Right. Uh, so now we have shadows here. But now right now it's it's dynamic. Everything is dynamic, and uh, we can try to reduce the shadows quality. Um, and that that would really help us. Right. Let's go to the light source. So here in this case my yeah, light source, it should be my sun. And now let's search for cascade lighting. So basically cascade shadows. So here, right now it's running with um, cascade shadows of one or three. And I think uh, you can put it down to zero and it will remove the dynamic shadows as well. Then basically that will improve the performance. But I think if you need shadows, uh, dynamic shadows, you can uh, keep it something around one and you can pick this slider. So basically if you put it to zero, and you don't have any dynamic shadows based on the camera depth. So let me put this on something around like maybe thousand. Yeah. So basically, uh, not thousand, maybe two thousand. So then, uh, so I'm, I'm coming closer and I, I can show the shadows. But I, if I go far away, I cannot see the shadows. But so this is a number you can tweak. And that's, that's something you can do. Right. So now we have this version. And let's try to run these on the mobile device and try to see the performance. All right, uh, so basically now my game runs with around 35 frames a second, but you can see it around 30 because of the screen capture tool. But this is really good. Now I get the, to play my game with uh, 35 frames a second, and which is quite improvement. Let's see what else we can do. I can try to reduce this to zero and I don't see any dynamic shadows. But in this case, if I want to this, and there's a much better option, that means we can use static lights. And, uh, and the bake the lighting so we can still have the shadows but everything is sh static so i think that's a better option rather than moving this to zero right let's skip this settings right away and then i'm gonna go to my light source which is what you're looking at and i'm, I'm gonna put that to static and i'm gonna go to do my skylight as well so i'm gonna change that to static as well and here i think i'm gonna select maybe this one all right, now I'm going to do a light build. And let's wait until this is completed. All right, my light build is completed. Now I have shadows. All right, so this is good. And then I'm going to launch my game on the device. All right, now my game is running something around 40 frames per second. Again, you, you will see a lower number here, but um, I'm getting uh, something around 40 frames a second. And this is quite nice, quite impressive uh, thing we did. If you don't need dynamic lighting, this is a really nice option. Then you you could go up to from 7 frames a second to 40 frames a second, which is quite improvement. So then I tried uh, some other options like uh, some tweaking some parameters here and there. And uh, I use a smaller landscape. Uh, right now, this is a landscape with uh, 2K resolution. I, I try to uh, reduce that to 1K and uh, scale it uh, scale here from the from here. Right, right now, it's scaled up to 100. I try to scale this 200 here, but, but the result is the same because we try to play with the LOD values and try the triangle comes lower. So um, yeah, I did more option, but I couldn't go from this number. Uh, so basically now I, we, for this device, I improved from uh, seven frames a second to 40 frames a second. I couldn't go uh, beyond that. If you have any ideas, just uh, share with me the comments. I'm, I'm happy to experiment. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use the open land or any, any other uh, landscape material and, and optimize that, especially running in a device like this. So stay tuned and um, see you soon. Bye.